Hey Soloholics and welcome back if you are a subscriber. But if this is your first time viewing any of my videos, feel free to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop new videos. Now, have you ever run into one of those annoying tools, whether it is the one with the two cross lines, you don't know where it came from, if you ever clicked on something, moved your mouse, and you have the circle uh, bullseye and a trail of ants, or if you're trying to move something and it moves in very large increments and you can no longer move it smoothly. These are all caused by what can be annoying but very useful tools. And I'm going to show you how to turn them on, turn them off, what you might be doing to turn them off inadvertently, and what they're used for. Because you might just find out that they will be useful to you in your next design. All right, so let's jump over and we're going to get right into this. The first tool that we're going to talk about is going to be your center of rotation. Let's zoom into here. If I click on this and I hit O on my keyboard, that little circle with the cross in the middle pops up. So if you are not in text mode and you hit O on your keyboard, it is the keyboard shortcut for the center of rotation. So it's going to toggle it on and off on and off. When it's on, what it does is it determines where your design or shape or text will pivot from. Why do you need it? If you need to align something up to somewhere and you kind of want it to follow a path, this can come in handy. I'm going to take the dupe to dupe from Baby Shark and I want it to kind of outline the body. Now, I can try to do this with uh, text to path, but it's kind of hard because of the angle of the side of the shark's body. So what I'm going to do is turn on my center of rotation, move it to the corner of the D, then I'm going to put that somewhere on this path, and as you can see, it's going right into the fin. Now if I take the circle, which rotates um, any shapes, text, or designs, I'm going to go like this, so it anchors it at that point, and I'm able to rotate it and get it exactly where I want. If I don't have my center rotation on, so let's turn this on, move it back to the center, where'd you go, there we go, and if I put it here, trying to get it to line up exactly, will be a little bit harder because it's going to move off the center of the O. But again, if we take this, move it to the edge of the D, put the center of rotation on the edge of the shark, and then I rotate it, I can anchor the D and get the O's to, their, to where they are right on the edge of the shark. So that is the purpose of your center of rotation. It helps you with aligning things from a specific point. Wherever you move that to, is where it's going to rotate from. So if you see I move it way out there, this will pivot from that point. If you haven't seen my video on uh, creating repeated images around a circle, check that out because that's one where your center of rotation is gonna come in handy uh, when creating monograms or uh, just rings of shapes because you'll pull it to the middle and then you can use your replicate tool to replicate it in a full circle all at the same distance. Tool number one. The next one is going to be your crosshairs. Then I, oh, back up, I wanna say, when you have this and it's not in the center, you cannot turn it off by hitting O on your keyboard. You can hit O, o all day long, it won't move. You'll have to go to your preferences, which is the little gear that I like to call a sprocket because I'm old school and it reminds me of the Jetsons. Click on that. We're going to go to tools. No, I'm sorry. Defaults. And you're going to uncheck center of rotation. Hit apply. Hit OK. When you go back to your design, the center of rotation will not be there. Or let's see. Go back, well, has to be in the center. And we'll turn it off. And if we go back to the preferences, now it should still be off. Oh, 
it came back. Don't know why. All right, let's go apply. And for some reason, 4.2 is not allowing me to select apply. And let's go back. Is it still there? There we go. All right, the next one is going to be your crosshairs. The keyboard shortcut for crosshairs is H on your keyboard. H to turn it on, H to turn it off. H to turn it on, H to turn it off. What this does, it allows you to align things that are not touching and that you wouldn't be able to align with your align tool. When it comes to your align tool, you're either going to go all the way to the right, all the way to the left, all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, dead center, going horizontally or vertically. But if you need to align something to something and it, you can't, it's like in the middle of it, you can use your crosshair. So we're going to turn it on. And let's say I want to align the edge of this box with the bottom of the D. I'm going to bring this up. And I can see that I'm on, on the bottom. My gray line is going across the bottom of it. And so when it's there, I can see that I'm at the D. I can nudge it up a little bit if I want. And the same thing works for the vertical one as well. So let's say I want this box to be lined up with this D and the edge of this one. So I'm going to put it right here in the corner and bring it over. So I'm right at that edge and then the D. That is what your crosshair is for. It just lines up things that aren't together and that would not normally line up using your traditional align. All right? Again, H to turn it on and off. All right? Your last one is going to be your snap to grid. If you come up to your page settings, click on the grid. If you have snap to grid on, whether your grid lines are showing or not, as you move things, it will jump in increments. You can't move it smoothly or just drag it. If you use your arrow, it's going to jump. It's not going to move in small increments. It's snapping to those guides, even those grids, even though they're in, oh, excuse me, <laughs> invisible. We click this on, you're going to see it. And as I move it, every time I move it, it's going to snap to the next grid line. All right, to turn that off, just come to page setup, go to the center icon and uncheck snap to grid. Whether you're, again, whether your grid lines are on or not, if you have snap to grid on, it will snap. And I personally don't like grid lines, so I always have mine off. So hopefully that kind of helped explain what those annoying tools are and you'll find a use for them in your, uh, in the designs that you will create after this. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to post them as a comment below. You can also email me. My email is in the description box. You'll also find the link to the new website in the description box. Make sure you go ahead and bookmark that. That is where you're going to find all the latest releases for videos, classes, and more. You'll also find my recommendation list and links to all of those. All right, guys. Until next time, have a great one.